what is going on brothers and sisters welcome back to sons of the forest now i was chopping down a bunch of trees and i realized uh some of my logs were definitely despawning because i chopped down a lot more than we're here and i was having dum dum move him and he's only got a stack of three so i know that it's not working properly which is uh not great so i'm gonna just kind of start building we'll do this kind of incrementally i'm just gonna have to go i think maybe if i did something like this because this makes it so that they're technically part of a structure and when it's part of a structure they don't despawn anymore so i'm thinking some of the better ways to to do your farm is to get some logs obviously maybe use the zip lines as well uh, but I'm a little nervous about all these things despawning because I've definitely had more logs than this. Because I chopped down a bunch of trees here, a bunch of trees over there. And all the logs that were associated with this. Like, I had a big stack here. And they're just gone. So, so I'm going to... I just wanted to show you guys that first. Just in case you all run into that same problem. Leave me a comment down below, too, if that is something you've also run into. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start stacking these. Come on. No. Sometimes they like break and it doesn't let you stack them. I don't know why. There it is. Now it's letting me. So I'm just going to start stacking these into like a makeshift pile. It's like, oh, Shabby, why aren't you using the log storage? Bro, the log storage is the worst piece of crap I've ever seen in this game. It holds six logs. Who gives a crap? Six logs? That is the saddest excuse for a log storage I've ever seen in my life six logs bite my ass for six logs look who it is it's virginia hi gorgeous let me put my axe away i don't know if that makes you nervous or not yeah she's scared it's okay we'll get closer i've got dum dum out in the woods you can see him moving about out there his uh he's just out there clearing 20 diameters right now i've got some stacks of wood here so i figured this might be okay to start with so let's just talk about some building here and talk about how I kind of progress through this and why. So I want to make a little lakeside property here. And I want to get um, like maybe like a nice little, not a dock, but a like a patio out there. So I have a little deck out there. Maybe we'll, that's, we'll put some of our decorations out there. So that'll be pretty nice. But you can see here I'm laying down the diagonals first because with this, and let me show you a different instance here. So, so I laid the diagonals down. Or... You piece of crap. Bro, you're... Messing with the wrong guy here, brother. Oh, the other body's disappeared. Put him over here. So, and you can see how this pole is higher than the others, right? So if I try and... If I grab some logs here... And I try and connect these in. You see it just kind of connects to the bottom. Like it doesn't really recognize that it's there. Take this off. Or I could go kind of like this and connect down there. But now we're uneven and I'd have to manually chop that piece off, right? Whereas if instead we lay the diagonal first and then we put up the cross, you can see the arrows sitting there dragging and pointing it up. It'll go up like that, and then it'll chop off... What the heck? Where'd that piece go? Uh, it'll chop off the excess. I'm going to go to sleep. It's uh, getting dark. It'll chop the excess off to make it even with the piece you're trying to connect it to. So it's absolutely something you want to be doing. Let me just drink some of this pond water. Then I'll eat some food. I'm not going to worry about a campfire yet. I've still got so much food on me. Like, whatever at this point, moment. And I've all my meat's gone rotten yet again. So, it's fine. Just eat. Going to eat, like, MRE. Maybe some crunchy one cheese. Because my crunchy one cheese are full as well. I did just eat downing a whole box of cereal out in the wild. You're like, man, I'm a little parched. And just... All right, so... Grab this. So like you, like we saw, it, it makes the connection and it makes it the perfect height. So now you don't have to sit there and try and manually get things taken care of. I just realized I was throwing my big logs out. I also think that all the logs I had were slowly despawning because I don't know. It, it seems like a poor choice, but I wonder if there's like some sort of collision mechanics that like make it so things despawn faster. 
because I definitely lost a bunch of logs that were sitting near the house while I was chopping things off. And you can see all those logs that kind of drifted away on us. What's that? Is that a box out here? All those logs that kind of drifted away on us that we just lost them entirely. There is boxes out here. What's this? Been living here how long? Ooh, the, those meds will be fine. Let me, where'd those meds go? I'm full on meds, though, and I'm a little low on, well, not low, but I lost some health, so we can just take that. Might as well just drink this beverage here. I think I got a hat. Oh, no, it's a helmet. Can't take his helmet, though. Some slugs in 9mm right next to the house. That's nice. I didn't even know this was over. These guys were here hanging out. Welcome home, brother. But yeah, like all those logs that we lost that floated away, they just came over here. It's a small pond. Like, you, you saw I had one here. There could be some down this way, but the river kind of flows into this. So they wouldn't have made it all the way down here and not all of them. So we're definitely losing some. And there's good fish here, too. We definitely lost some logs, but that's fine. It just is what it is. I know now, so what I'll do is... While dummies up there chopping, chopping them down after I use these, I'm just going to start to throw them down the hill. Make little log piles like this, and then I'll do my work out of them. So then I'm just going to create a pretty standard line like this. Throw my small pieces over there. And we don't need to have all of these joists. I'm just going to do them temporarily, and then I'll remove some after I get the building done. Because not only is that just going to make it a little... Actually, I think these are half height now, so I can just do this. Yep, that's good. And it just makes it easier in a couple different ways, because I'll have the logs already here, so I can just pick them up and repurpose them as we're building, instead of having to run around the whole time. So let me toss those. Let me get this half log this half log actually no not put them here full logs I'll do that and actually I'm just gonna maybe I'll just do the verticals here for now as you can see these are just using halfies we're already getting good purpose out of these hey baby girl the issue here oh that was interesting okay it was so small that I didn't even need to bring it up maybe I'll make that like the entryway here these are just ones I accidentally turned into wood bars here this Same with this side here. Same with this side here. They're so small that you don't even need another set of logs to prop them up. These ones, we do. Probably just a little quarter log on these ones. No? Halfies, okay. So I'm just going to take these. I'm going to drop them right in half. Oh, these were, those were the other logs. Whoopsies. Actually, if that was the case, though, I should just be able to... Oh, yeah, there it is. I think these other logs were just in the way. I think this will be plenty big enough. And honestly, it might be too big, so. Just put these across here. Lastly, I think I want to keep this rounded actually. So if I do this, drop that off, and if I just nope, that's not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. 
If I temporarily do that, it's not going to allow me to connect that in here. What if I do that? And then it'll let me do it like this. Okay. So I'll make it like a fence line coming in there. So that'll be fine. Then this will be the house. Okay, cool. Oh, this is just floor. And actually, I don't want a ramp. I want stairs. So if you just right click, you can see the arrow angle slightly changes. That's how you switch between stairs and ramps. So, and I think stairs look better than ramps in these cases. They're a little more awkward to walk up and down, but aesthetically, much more pretty. So now we'll base build our floors in here. So you can just take whole logs and drop them right in. I'm going to go horizontally with all these. So I'm just going to place all these down now. And I'm going to go and talk to Dum Dum up top and see how he's doing and make sure that he's uh, still chopping logs and that they're there. And then come bring them down for myself. Our boy is out here doing some massive damage. Just fantastic. I'm just going to toss like all these down here. Hopefully none of these like get lost lost the throes of life because we're gonna need so many logs to even build this house it's kind of big but i think it's fine i think it'll be okay make like a i think i'm gonna do like a front porch as well just to maybe make that make the amount of wood just a smidge less a little a little easier on our farming abilities here you know what i mean just try and keep it nice and simple for us but aesthetically okay hopefully I'm not very good at building houses though, so we'll kind of have to see how this goes. Okay, good. That'll that'll be a start here. So again, like I said, we're just gonna make some. Oops. We're just gonna make stairs and whatnot. This is gonna be the deck. Ugh, stuck. I think what I'll do is I'll have this just be an entryway. This won't even be the deck here. This will be the entryway into the home. As such. Yeah, that'll work out pretty nicely, I think. So we'll have an entryway here. So let's show you guys how to build a door real fast. It's actually pretty simple. You just have to get this all lit up. What's up, girl? I'll also... Maybe it's a little easier if I do it like this first. Support beam. Support beam. Grab the wood. Lay it out. Hey, girl. She'll get used to us naturally, just hanging out, being curious. And then eventually she'll stay and be our best friend and our biggest asset. So once you build yourself a wall like this, we just need to carve out the center here. I think this is the height for it, right? Yeah, that should be the height. Then we throw in some logs. Plop that down here. Now we have ourselves a beautiful functioning door that looks fantastic from the outside here. Definitely feel like I'm losing logs still definitely feels that way quite unfortunate i figured it was time for a little campfire while we waited for our boy to do a little bit of work so i built this 
as we've done a few times. Then you can reinforce this with some rocks to make this a reinforced campfire, which is just overall much better. And then I can take, take like a, you can take a quarter log, chop it vertically, well, horizontally, I suppose. And then you've got firewood. These are all rotten, so we're not going to do anything with those. But I don't know if this actually does anything in here. Not sure, but okay. I'm going to throw out all these rotten arms I've just got sitting on me. Into the water it goes. And what I want to do is this. I did get attacked, and the body's already disappeared. So there's... It definitely feels like everything kind of disappears really fast in this game, which is quite a shame at the moment because it makes log gathering as a solo uh, just a little more. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say harder, but just more annoying, I suppose is the best way to put it. So what I do want to do is grab you, throw you down. I don't know if I can eat your legs. Can I? I can. I'm going to do this and get a drying rack. In a little bit. Drying rack will come, but I'm going to toss you on the bobby. Turn you in the bones. I did make a temporary bone storage here. And that way I can just start, like, stockpiling our goodies. Yeah, that's looking good. And then in here... Just throw all this in here. I'll check on that in a moment. Throw in a buck as well to keep that flame hot. And you can see he's very, very slowly bringing us logs, which is why it's like, it's nice, but we're kind of far from everything now. So, and I'm, I'm too nervous about making him clear things because we've gotten rid of so many trees and I definitely don't have all those logs. So he's good. Get this out of the way. Oh, there they go. Now they're good. Need that hand though. Thank you. And I do, like I said, I want to build a drying rack because Virginia does like to eat the food. And if you leave it, if you have a drying rack and then you leave it on the drying rack, she will, she'll just come by and eat it on on her own, kind of relishing there. I suppose like right here for now is okay. Just do something like this great and then once we get some more creepies coming after us i'll chop them up and we'll put that all on there but also i started this is probably going to be where i build a porch so this is why i've got some quarter poles stacked on each other so i can just start having the ideas ready also want to toss that over there get that side done and hopefully a uh, dumbass works a bit for us i'm just going to get a couple trees at a time and just start working a bit more I want to start uh, placing the walls down and getting an idea of how the exterior is going to look for us. What I'm thinking here is I'm going to use some three-quarter logs. It's taking you so long, big guy. I even, like, moved all the wood over here to you. You're still taking too long to get to me. I need hired hands here. Is she okay? Hi. you doing picking flowers all right see you later i'm thinking let me grab these three so if i do this and now he's bringing them there must have been a creepy nearby if there are creepies nearby they don't they don't properly complete task they kind of cower or they come back to you and try and hide so if i have something like this what's up big guy are right, taking a break you need logs to pick up or maybe he was trying to do something else not sure i'm gonna have a little tilted roof coming down here i think so i need to actually remove that one 
Have it like this. Have it like this. This is just supposed to be a railing. It's pretty high, but we'll see how that goes. I probably will get rid of that in the long run, though. Doesn't look great. And this will be a roof when we get them rolling. Chop down some more trees for our boy. Hopefully he gets to work over there. The damn slacker. So I want to start working on the infrastructure here. So this will be good for our roofing, I believe. So the roofs will come down and it'll kind of look like this. Oh, those are... Why are they set as stairs? That's not right. That's not what I want to see. Whoop. Come on, give me a boost. Ah, there we go. Wait, we can jump. There we go. So this will what it'll look like coming down. As such. And then I'll need another door here. Maybe I leave this open? No, I need a door. It definitely needs a door. It's also getting pretty dark out. But I've got some logs. I cut down like four trees. Maybe, maybe five trees. Let's see, we got some logs up here. I was starting to think of putting a zip line down, but I'm just, uh, I don't know. I definitely will try it though. I just don't know how, if I want to set it up just yet. Maybe I might do it over there coming down towards the house for those trees. Cause those trees seem to be a little further away, kind of uphill. So I think that might be a better battle to fight. Put that here. Let's go to <laughs> take a nap for the day. beautiful because i'm drinking so much soda too it's not my my natural energy is not maxing out it's just staying purple which is whatever at this point so if i do that then we're gonna chop these out one more oh nope Oh, it's just a bit too low, huh? I think I might just have to let it be a bit goofy. It's being a bit weird, huh? It might be because it's too low to the ground. That might be my mistake here. Which is unfortunate if that is the case. Let me try something else. Instead of connecting that top bar. Which are three quarters. Instead of connecting it to the top. If I maybe stack them all the way up. It might work better. You can always use those quarter pieces somewhere else. Yep. This will work, I believe. Yeah, that's just what I had to do. I think it'll be, it might be a little goofy, but that's kind of like that's what I said. Like that's kind of the issue with this. Like I can't just put a door in if I want to, apparently. And Dum Dum must be taking a break. What's up, girl? She's been hanging out a lot near the house, so. I was about to say, where's all my logs? I see, like I feel like these are not all the logs still, but. throw these down here a bit yeah we'll, we'll try the next batch I'm gonna build a zip line from up there I'm gonna try and zip zip line down some logs to us there we go Why are these facing that way These are three quarter logs. Not sure where I want to use these yet, but. We'll 
We'll find a place for him. Door is kind of broken here. And you know why? It's because it's connecting on the inside. I can I can walk. Nope, I can't. All right, and it, it's because it's too low, so I'm not gonna be able to put a real door on this, which is a shame. But we learned. It's all right. I think I'll just leave it open and just try and make it look nice instead. Wasted a lot of wood, but it's okay. I don't even think like this would help, would it? Yeah, because it's missing that piece, so it's not going to even let him try and connect in. That's okay. But this, it'll just be... Oh, yeah, I still can't even walk through it like this. I think I have to... I have to kind of get rid of an extra extra board there because it's still a bit too low. That's what I'll do. I'm going to get rid of these, though, as well. I don't think it looks good, so I think I would rather just have it completely open like this. Maybe... How, how, do, the, how do the three quarter logs look? Just laid down here. But they don't. No option. Can't, can't put them down. <laughs> I wanted to do this. But it's not going to let me. So, never mind. Oh, something's damaged. Let's make a repair tool. It's this rope and a stick love the creepy on my arms look amazing let's equip this is there a piece of wood there is that maybe why it's not letting me Oh, there is not. Try that. Maybe that's why it wasn't let me place because there wasn't something underneath it. Yep. Okay, it just goes right in the middle anyways. I wanted to see if I could align these to the right side over here more appropriately. Because if I could, I could just make like a small pathway to kind of walk through. But that's not going to be the case. So we'll just toss those back there. We'll just leave this open, right? And I can't put this here, can I? I might, I think it'll be aesthetic. So I think I'll just leave it like this still. Yeah. So if we finish off these roofs here. Hard to snap these in sometimes. No, I said. All right, that looks good. Yep, nice little slope there. I think that'll look nice. Then we'll need to build some trusses out like this. And actually, I think if I do something like this. Can't even get through this side here that well. It's okay. Hi, baby girl. I can start repurposing a few of these logs. Not these ones yet, but... Boop, boop. Take this. Okay, this I can't. Not yet, at least. Let me plop this down. So if we grab some of our small one-quarters here, a couple one-quarter logs, we can trust these angles up. put a little stability here no are you not gonna let me do we oh maybe they're halves maybe I need half pieces put 
those down here. Take a half piece. Half piece. Just run they were quarters. Nope, they're half pieces. So we could take half pieces and truss up angles like this. And now I can take that this log out. If instead I do something like this. Take this. Take that. And then we can truss that up eventually as well. This will start to look a little nicer. Time for more logs. Wanna see how this works. So I figure if I'm up here, like look at these, like he chopped these trees down, there were no logs in sight, right? Alright, so like if I did like this for instance. Okay, then I gotta... Ouch. I don't think that's high enough. Try this again. I need a higher point to work with. So I need to stop telling Dumbo to get logs. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is attach it to this tree. Like this. He's cowering, so there's something nearby. I think I just... Nope, that was a log. Okay. Let's see how this works. Remember, zip lines work both ways. Very nice. Little little injury there. That's okay. We'll make do. So don't chop that tree down. So I'm going to chop the ones around it first so I can be like, okay, this lone tree. Then I'll show you about uh, throwing some logs down them. All right. Moment of truth here. It's too high. <laughs> it's too high. Damn it. I wasn't, I wasn't even... I didn't even think about that appropriately. So that's my way in. Reload. Need a more appropriate way out. I think this will be fine. I don't know why when I shot that, I thought the angle would be so much steeper that this would be fine. And it would not be a problem. This works. Can I shoot logs up them? That's not what I meant to do. You can shoot logs up. Nice. That's goofy, but nice. Now, the question is, is this going to be okay? Going to follow it down. It hit the ground. It's getting closer. Then he'll try and bring the rest of it. You know what? It works fine for now. Not the best. I now know a better idea about how this will function. So the next time we build one, we can be on point for what we need to be doing. Small build update. So I got this little overhang coming off here. And I figured this would be, just be a nice place to store some firewood. Probably mostly aesthetically. I don't think I'd even... Uh, I don't know how where I'm going to use this. I can't use it in that campfire. And I thought I could. But I could be just doing it wrong too. It wouldn't surprise me. So I got to look into that a bit. And also an update. Uh, our girl likes us now. So we're going to go into the bag. What's up baby? So, few things here. Rotate. I'm going to give her my pistol. There you go. Have fun. And I'm going to give you a GPS locator so I can see you. And I don't have any clothes yet for her, I suppose. Okay. So, you'll just keep running around in your bathing suit, cutie. Have at it. Now she's got a gun. Now what? I don't... 
You didn't like that I gave her a gun? Don't care, brother. Don't care. Then I'm going to start a second little pile like this here. And this is what I'm just going to do with all of our quarter wood. And I think this is just going to be like a nice little touch to the lakeside home. Just showing off our lovely little firewood stacks. And I think it might make sense if I put a beam kind of across here like this. No. I don't want it to go into the ground like that. I want it to be an even beam. Interesting. Though. That's probably fine, I suppose. So while... Yeah. So as I break things down, if I have extras, little quarter slices, they'll become firewood and we'll add to that aesthetic in there. But otherwise, we're just working on the house in here now. Just getting some things done. I want to build up some trusses here so I can see if I can get rid of a few more uh, extra support that is unneeded. So I'm going to just hit up the corners here like so. As you can see, I did get rid of all the bars in the center. So it, this is perfectly open now. This is trussed up. We can't move any of these, at least not yet, but that's okay. So, and I'm gonna do the same here. That's fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of both of these though, but let's find out. Oh, I can. Look at that. Uh-oh, we got trouble. Girl, you're supposed to shoot them. Did you just block me? It's a freaking hatchet, bro. Yeah, there she goes. Shoot him, baby girl. I got you. Backup's here. Oop, oop. I'm like low on sleep and everything right now, so. No, 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 big guy. Stamina, stamina. Oh, nice, baby. Good shot, pumpkin. She is just coming clutch, baby. What timing. And that's why you do your best to befriend the good girl, okay? Don't kill her. She's your friend. Not food. These guys are food. We'll give her a nice reward, too. I'm going to try and chop off some limbs here. I don't think that's going to work. Sometimes you can get like three limbs off. Sometimes not. So you're just going to go in here. Nice, delicious leg. Okay, grab an arm. Thank you. Probably not this one, though. Oh, we got the leg. Okay, hold on. Drying rack. There we go. What's up, baby? It's so good out there, my darling. Oh, we did get all four. Awesome. Just gonna get that right angle, I suppose. Kurt angle. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's get another drying rack down, I suppose. Low on sticks. Interesting. I guess that is something I haven't really been collecting since we've been at the house. You can get some sticks just right here, though. Do got to fix our shitty zips at some point, but again, not a major deal, not a big old priority. Just a just a nice to have, right? Need one more stick. We'll get it here. <laughs> Plenty of sticks there. Thank you. Woohoo! Oh, baby. Drying rack finished. I missed the fire. Now we need more limbs, so I'm just going to chop these boys up, put them on the dryer. Virginia will eat those as well. She'll just partake in that as they dry, of course, though. And, of course, I'll also have it if I want them. 
Two arms. Perfect. This piece of shit, he just broke my house. He was like underneath it. I just walked up and it, it all started collapsing. It's because he's down here destroying it. It's why we need our fence up. Oh, what a dickhead. Well, okay. Chop you up too. Oh, that makes me so mad. After all the nonsense I decided, actually, you know, maybe we should just build this wall first, even though I was like, yeah, it's okay. After that one big guy got stuck inside the house, I'm either assuming he went through the door to get inside or he, um, or he ended up being like in the water and then got stuck underneath the base. And then he was just attacking the base from below. Cause he got it. He got the base down from the backside. So, so we'll kind of see. I'm just working on getting logs. I'm going to build this wall up this way like this and just kind of round it off on this side, I believe. And I think that'll be a pretty decent wall. Again, small structure, nothing crazy because it's going to take still a couple hundred logs. Coming up on the final additions here after fixing the house, getting the palisades and this defensive barrier was quite the undertaking the whole house honestly was quite the undertaking and honestly it's not a big house it's just kind of normal but why don't we talk about the house here while we uh take a little take a little walk ski i need to close this off now i know dumbass is out there but he's not really my problem at the moment but that like right in the middle there probably that should be decent i suppose then we need to just chop these and defensive walls come. No, don't hit that. And the defensive wall will be complete. Come on. Getting these things to align when you use two different walls can be uh, can be a pain. That's for sure. Honestly, it doesn't even matter if this little gap is here. As long as I can hit this, I'm happy. Yep. Yeah. This gap won't won't really mean much. If anything, it might work as a as a defensive measure. Because what my play is this. So now that we've got these walls here, at some point I'll probably open this side up since it's my biggest side. But what I want to do is a few things here. So what you do is you put down sticks around the outside, like I'll keep them a little bit of ways away. For instance, like here, plop one here, here. I'll put like two here because maybe this might be a pretty big spot. That'd be dumbass. Okay. And then you can get behind them with your ax. Come on. There you go. And you just hit them in the direction. Oh, I'm going to have to move these two. You just basically hit them in the direction you want. And what this will do is it creates defensive spikes for you. Put one here. Put one here. I might actually just go all the way across and kind of tandem like this. It's a bit far actually, but it's fine. Now do this all the way around. Plop these in. And then you, what you do to reinforce them is you come back in your bag, grab your rocks. You're going to need a lot of rocks. Two. Three. Takes three rocks for each one. I know it's hard to see because it became winter while we were building this house. That's how long it takes to build houses in this game. It's pretty crazy, not gonna lie, but it is 
what it is. So, come over here. I've had dumbass. You can just see there's a ton of rocks here. I've just had dumbass gathering rocks. And yeah, I've got a full storage over here with rocks as well. So the play will be for me to go all the way across and just set these up like we were talking about. Again, make sure you put them in the ground, the stick in the ground. I wonder if it hurts me. Ow! Ooh, that did some damage. Okay. The answer is yes, it does hurt me. And then you just add the rocks and that reinforces them. So, and honestly, these, these will help you a lot on your defenses, so... If you're just kind of sitting with a fence and wondering what you're doing wrong when you're getting attacked, this is it. This is what you need to do. So make sure you get that taken care of around your whole base and you'll be a much happier camper. I promise you that. So with that, though, let's take a little home tour. I added a little place to step up right here. I think if I take this... I should just be able to add a step here, right? Maybe not. I thought if you put like a half a log in front of a log, it would make a step, but guess not. That's all right. So I made it. I made two entrances. I've got the outdoor entrance here, a little crooked, because uh, you know it's just it's just what it is, and also it just makes it feel like an authentic lake cabin. Working on a bone chandelier. Just need some more heads, and then I've got my chair right here. What's up, girl? I think she's in the way now, so it's not going to let me sit, so that's fine. And then the second entrance is over here. I got to get one more pole for this fence line. Second entrance is here. Door is here. I'm going to put a door on this, too, in a bit once I grab a couple logs. And this will be our lovely cabin. I'm thinking of maybe putting the bed here in this corner or in this corner. Either way, it'll or maybe like right in the middle, maybe two, two beds, so kind of make it look like a king-size bed. And then we'll add some other decorations and stuff inside the house as well as let's go into here, go into furniture, so storage units. So some of the storage units you will sleep on are shelves and wall shelves, okay? And the reason why I say you all sleep on is because mm -hmm. everyone, hi, hi, thumbs up to you too, baby. Love you too. Is because you all forget to do this, okay? gonna it's good. my sloped walls make it hard to place th things in certain places so i'm gonna do that like this put a shelf there maybe if i can get one more over here i don't i don't think i'll be able to but we'll see nah, that's fine that's fine and i'll put one here Like that. We'll stick out a little bit, but that should be okay, too. So with these wall shelves, you can put all your things on there, like your extra circuits, your ropes, your meds. So that way, you can create a stockpile of them, and when you go out, you can get more. So that way, if you're at base, and you're always running out of stuff when you're at base, well, this is why. It's because you're not creating shelves to store your product appropriately. Then you can also use wall shelves for areas like here. So, like, on the on those spots, I don't have... I've got the slope, so I'm not able to to build more appropriately there. So I can put some more shelves like this, and we'll get our we'll get our cabin lined absolutely lined with shelves. Can't get that over. Uh, I think I had a spot there for a second, right there. Perfect. So we'll do that. We'll get a bed down. Where's the bed? I think it's in furniture, right? Stick bed. So a little little awkward with the snapping here. Thinking I put it here. Then I get a second stick bed. Here. There we go. Kind of look like a a full size or a king size bed when we come in here you can stare outside and that's the reason I don't have windows here is because I can walk out to my porch and get beautiful views outside the terrace what's up beautiful you good you okay damn you 
Okay, great. You're, you're perking up over there. Let's get back inside the house. But all right, brothers and sisters, I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll finish off the house before the next episode. And then we're going to be going back to the caves because we need to go find that shovel. I'm assuming it's over there. So we got to take our zip lines and go have some fun. So let's take ourselves a nap, get ourselves a sleep. And as usual, brothers and sisters, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby. <laughs>